What's up YouTube? Oh, here's just a few of my uh, artillery shells and mortars and projectiles and whatnot. Um, starting from the end, we got the 37mm French pom-pom from World War One, And then we have the high explosive 20mm from the Second World War. And then the 40mm training round from Second World War again. Then we have the Second World War Italian Brixia mortar round, the British uh, two three pounder. Um, it's missing the high explosive cone on top of it there. Obviously, you can still see the thread on the side of it where it used to be. Uh, and then we have the New Era 40 millimeter with the nice shiny fuse on top. Then we have the Second World War tracer fuse. 40mm uh, training once again and then we have the First World War Anzacs Turkish shell nice and short obviously and then we have the British 75mm with the number 85 fuse and then next we have the uh, 17th of the 10th 1895 dated Boer War British shell and fuse, uh, nice condition, very rare that one. Um, then we've got the 1916 model uh, Priest mortar, German, fired from the trenches in near mint condition. And then we have the shell that I found the message in, which is German, um, self propelled 76mm, very nice. Then we have this uh, British 18 pounder high explosive shell and um, it's cleaned up very nice. Dry band is flush for some reason it has some strange indent holes on it and um, some markings as you can see there. It doesn't actually have a date on it though. And then we got the standard British 75mm shrapnel round um, very nice condition, a bit of surface rust. But don't know if the camera will pick up, but it does have some markings just here. You know, it says 18 pounder. And then we have the French 75mm uh, with the beehive fuse. It's a very tall shell for what it is. And the drive bands are always quite narrow compared to the British shells on the French ones. That's First World War again. Then we have the Russian 81mm water, uh, mortar round. Very nice. All metal with a, with a good fuse dated 1940. And then we have the very new era, uh, around about 1990s RAF training round. This one here. Missing the plastic nose cone obviously, but that's uh, not really a bad thing. Then we have the four and a half inch high explosive shell uh, unfired as you can see by the nice dry band on it and it's got the British number 44 fuse and last but not least we have the British 60 pounder um, it's actually missing the fuse and dry band well the dry band has been cut off but we're missing the fuse and adapter Otherwise it would actually be taller than the 4.5 inch shell which is why I've put the 60 pound at the back because it's probably the biggest shell in this selection. And that's pretty much it for this video so hope you've enjoyed it and thanks for watching.